Russia wants to develop the country's Far East region with a new incentive. It plans to transfer land to Russian citizens for free if they move there and establish the area. CCTV's Anya Ardeeva reports. Russia's Far East occupies one-third of Russia's vast territory, six million square kilometers, inhabited by only six million people. This area holds huge economic potential, experts say, but lacks population and investment, so authorities in Russia have come up with a plan. This means one person per square kilometer, and this means large tracts of free land. It's only rational that this land has to be included in economic turnover. In 2016, the government wants to start distributing land in the area for free, and any citizen of Russia can apply. We didn't expect this level of interest. Less than a month ago, an official portal dedicated to this project has been launched, and less than a month, some 4,000 people have visited the website. Government officials launched a campaign to attract citizens to the initiative by using tactics like weather forecasts on television, explaining that weather in the region is not much colder than in the western part of the country, to videos depicting the technicalities of surfing in the Pacific Ocean in sub-zero temperatures. Those who are interested can receive up to one hectare of land for free. And in five years, if they prove that this land is used for their projects, they can receive free ownership, according to the government. One of the main problem is to change the public opinion, uh, to change the mentality of moving from the uh, east to west. And uh, it will take a lot of time and a lot of, uh, I think, a lot of uh, political decisions. And it's not just a question of investments, not just a question of money. It's a question how we can use this Russian Far East uh, to be integrated to Asian economy and not just to, to develop just for the fact of development. Last month, Moscow organized its first Eastern Economic Development Forum in Vladivostok, hoping to attract investors from Asia, and says the forum will meet annually. The entire population of Russia's huge Far Eastern region is nearly half the number of Moscow's population of almost 12 million. Experts say that while the new government initiative could provide a welcome development for the region, it may take years before it produces any tangible results. Anya Daiva, CCTV, Moscow.